um, Colossians chapter 3, uh, verse 15, on your bread of life today, and I'm going to read the New King James. The Bible says, And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Glory to God. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts. I'm going to use this for my title, The Peace of God. And why do I pick this for us today? Because many of us must understand that Christianity is experiential. You've got to experience it. Okay? If you say you love God, you must experience the knowledge of God. If you say God is love, you must be able, you must be able to experience the love of God. If you say God is healing or God is a healer, then you must be able to experience the healing grace of God because you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. It's experiential. We've got to experience. So it is with the peace of God. Okay? The moment we give our lives to Christ, then we have peace with God, Romans 5.1. Okay? So every Christian has got peace with God, but not every Christian is experiencing the peace of God. You're finding Christians that are anxious, depressed, and worried. They have not understood and experienced the peace of God. But the Bible is saying, let the peace of God rule. It has to, you must experience it if you want it to rule effectively or efficiently in your life. So, it's one thing to have peace with God and another thing to actually experience the peace of God. This peace acting as an empire or a ref can only rule in our hearts through deciding and settling with finality all questions that arise in our minds. It must do that. It must do that. Okay. The Bible says in Isaiah 26 verses 3, the Amplified Version, you will guard him and keep him in perfect and constant peace whose mind, both its inclination and its character is stayed on you because he commits himself to you, leans on you and hopes confidently in you. I like it. I like it. And if you see there, there are three things there. He talks about committing yourself to God. Number two, leaning on God and hoping confidently in God. This is what you're supposed to do if you want to have your, his mind stayed on you for you to experience the peace of God, for you to stay in that constant peace. Let your mind be stayed and tuned to God. A pure mind is a mind that is full of the spirit of, of the word. Your mind is full of of the word you can't have your mind full of the word and not experience the peace of god and not have that constant and perfect peace okay so this thing is very important because your mind is stayed on god and it gives you the peace meaning that it's wonderful then what happens when christ displaces worry at the center of your life he takes that worry away okay and puts there the peace of god what a beautiful experience to know that christ displaces worry at the center of your life. Have you been in a situation whereby you're in the storm, you're amidst the storm, but Christ has displaced anxiety. He has displaced the worry of your life and you have a certain peace that it is well. I know things are tight, but I believe that God is doing something. God can't allow me to fail, okay? Because they that trust in the Lord will never be put to shame. You have a certain peace because worry has been displaced by the peace of Christ. Many Christians should be this. This is, this is your experience in the peace of God. Jesus was sleeping amid the storm. Are you understanding what I'm saying? This is exactly what you and I should experience. And you should be able to do that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, when, when, when Christ displaces worry at the center of your life, before you know it, a sense of God's wholeness, everything coming together for good, will come and settle you down. You have a certain peace that you can't even understand that surpasses all human understanding. So friends, let Christ rule what you think. Okay, let him rule what you feel. When you allow his peace to do that, you will have no trouble inside yourselves. For this will keep you from doing whatever you feel like whenever you feel like it. This is just how the, the peace of God works. So listen to me. Depend on God and keep at it because in the peace of the Lord your God, you have a sure thing. You, he will keep you in perfect peace. You have a sure thing. You can be sure for sure for sure that it is well with you. And if it is well with you, then I can guarantee you one thing, that the best is yet to come. God bless you.